Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Survival Phantom of Youth. So the last time we left off after having come back from the island of Copper, I think I died to a buffalo. <laughs> but yes, uh, we did manage to hunt a couple of buffaloes, if I recall correctly. Anyway, we came back. Uh, there were a couple of things I needed. I think one of them was leather. And yes, we also needed the, the Copper pickaxe. So anyway, we are back. It is morning. I have done a little bit of things offline. Uh, I think it was last time that we actually um, that actually went back and mined all the copper and uh, clay available on the island of copper. But yes, so I've come back and I've made myself a bit of leather and I uh, did a bit of hunting. And uh, I'm just about to go and finish harvesting a couple of boars that I killed off. So the purpose of that was to get tendons for thread as well as leather, well, as well as hides for leather. So with those two, we should be able to craft ourselves a leather suit, which is really good. Where's the dog? Yes, okay. I want to avoid dog. Anyway, no need to hunt the dog. Uh, anyway, so the point of getting a leather set of leather gear is to uh, avoid some of the issues on some of the islands outside of the Copper Island. There's one called the Windy Island, and as you might expect, it's windy. <laughs> and yes, as you know from climbing up the up to the observatory here, wind is really nasty. So you can kind of tank it. It's not the end of the world, but it is kind of annoying. So therefore, if we can make ourselves a suit of leather, of leather clothing, we should be able to avoid uh, whatever penalties come with that. But like I said, it's not, it's not really important if you don't. I'm not even wearing the... Yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even wearing this. <laughs> the seaweed clothing. So yeah, you can see how uh, unimportant clothing is. If you know what you're doing, that is. Okay, so... Ah, it was south, okay. So I killed two balls off. Anyway, we'll be uh, finishing off with those with those two carcasses, and then we'll be going back to... Oh, a snake came up, okay. Then we'll be going back to the island of Copper and finish exploring that off. And after that, we'll go explore some of the outlying islands. We should be fully ready to explore the entire place. Uh, I'm not sure if I have made the pick, I don't think I have. But yes, uh, if we don't have a copper pick, then I'll make one because you do need one on some of the islands. Anyway, we got all the goodies out of that one. We left nothing behind, right? Yeah, leave the snake to be. We'll go back. Um, I did make a bit of leather. I spent a bit of time uh, curing hides and then processing them into leather. But I will show you how it's done. So I, I think I've already covered how to do the dried, how to process hides into, uh, into process hides, literally. <laughs> and how to dry them. Oh yes, I also made myself a couple of, uh, couple of uh, drying racks just to speed up the process. So we do have quite a lot of uh, hides ready to uh, become leather. And I think I have enough leather to actually make myself a suit. Anyway, I need to get back undercover. And I should be okay once I hit the shadow here. Aha, perfect. This is one of the best features of the, about this game. Look at that. It literally tracks where the sun is, where the shadow is. Yeah, I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it does it. I'd be very curious to understand how it does it. I'm guessing it hooks into the rendering of the light. Or that's some kind of a ray tracing. Yeah, some, some kind of tracing from the, from the sun. From where the sun is supposed to be. Anyway, strength seven. All right. Once we're done with this, I may make myself a suit of leather, and then we'll go. Anyway, so there's a whole bunch of fresh hides there, and there's a whole bunch of leather over here, and there's a whole bunch of uh, processed hides which I forgot to change. I built myself three drying racks. All they take is just long sticks, I think. And I think once you once you take them down, they you get the sticks back. So because of my skills, this is now 13 hours instead of 18 hours. Yeah, and I uh, still have a bit of a copper, but not enough. Lots of trophies. You want trophies? I got them all. <laughs> all right, and, um, and I'm also carrying a bowstring just in case my bow breaks, which is, which is about to. I've only repaired it once, so we can still get quite a lot of value out of it. And the arrows, yeah, they're okay. We only just crafted them. So what I do is I craft the leather clothing, but we won't wear it until we get to the, uh, to the, to the Windy Island. Right, so we have this. Uh, I'm not sure if I upgraded this online or offline. Pretty sure it was online. Lots of horns. I could make myself the crossbow, but I'm not actually a fan of it. Anyway, so I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five leather, which should be enough, and a whole bunch of thread. Right, I may need a need couple of needles, and we should be able to craft ourselves a set of leather clothing. And then you can also upgrade that further if you add copper to it. But we don't have enough copper, right? All it does is just gives you extra defense. So that's five armor. So yes, it just gives you extra armor, which you don't really need. But basically, the most important thing about the leather, the leather clothing is that sun, rain, heat, and wind. Really useful. Okay, so let's see. We got two, 
four, eight, and nine. Okay, so we need three more of that, and then we need uh, three more of that, which we definitely have. Yeah, plenty of thread. The problem is that tendons are pretty rare, right? You only get one like per uh, per bore. Okay, so let's turn that into into leather. Now, in order to make leather, you need both tree barks and water. So if you fill the tank with clean water, which which I did last time, you can then use it to make leather. Okay, so I need three more tree barks. Oh, that takes a long time, okay. Right, so I need one more, but I want to have one more set drying once that's done. So that will mean making one of these guys into processed hides. 42 minutes, still got time. Uh, so we'll maybe I'll do that tomorrow, and then we'll craft ourselves a set of leather clothing. It's three there, and three drying. Yeah, plenty of water. Mm -hmm. Just need to stock up on food. Plenty of tools, got enough spare enough. Okay, so I did make a copper pickaxe. There's nothing particularly amazing about it, but uh, the point is that we actually needed to break through an obstacle. Okay, let me light a fire. Let me also equip a torch. Yeah, we'll make the baked cakes, because they, they allow us to heal, so yeah. I'll light that, and extinguish that. We'll take this, and I'll light the torch. Yeah, we'll light this. That way I can work in the dark. This should be done, right? Correct. Right, so those are drying again. So now we need uh, three more pieces of leather. Actually, one more piece of leather. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Uh, am I gonna cook? No, I don't think so, right? No, we're not gonna cook. Okay, so that's nine leather and eight thread, plus a whole bunch of needles. Let me drop the dried hides. Right, and let us make ourselves the clothing. Yeah, leather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Leather hood. Uh, should I also make this? This could be useful. But anyway, clothing first. Ah, uh, we need a uh, rope made of skin. Okay, so I'll make that last. Ropes made of skin. Now we should be able to make the final piece of the suit. The leather jacket. That used up literally all our all of our components. But we have a nice suit. Ah, well, I'm wearing it. I don't, I don't want to wear it. Okay, don't want to wear it. Yes, anyway. So that allows us to then make... Armored leather. Right, uh, do we need to make the leather backpack? Let's see. Yes, we do. So we need one leather, two tendons, and two ropes made of skin. So I think I've got enough components for that. That's it. That's the final component. Yeah, you know what? Let's make that. Uh, dry to hide. I need two more. Okay. So we have to wait five hours. Okay. I would like to make this as well. This is kind of useful, you know? And this, could, this I'm sure, will be useful at some point. But I think we can come back for that, right? Uh, as for the rest, I'm not really that keen on it. But yeah, this will be really useful for uh, for harvesting it at sea. I just don't have enough leather though. This one, yeah. I think I have a piece of aloe somewhere here. Yeah, we don't have aloe. I, I, I forgot to gather some aloe. That's fine. And we have one poke point. Okay, we'll have a second poke point soon. So we can get a resistance to that. Yeah, you gotta use living water for this. You gotta use living water for this, so it's not really good. I'll go for the last one and see what, it, what effect it gives us. Yes, Jaguar. Unlimited stamina, okay. Hmm. I'll get the perk. Hopefully it won't require us to actually use living water, because I, I prefer not to. Oh, here's yellow, okay. And the leather should be... well, this stuff should be done. It is. And I think the color changes, by the way. I think the color actually does change. Uh, this could be bad, but... I think we'll be able to sleep it off anyway. Having made the piece of leather... And the ropes made of skin, we're now ready for this. There you go. So a couple of broken needles later, we have a backpack. Because of our crafting skill, its condition is actually much higher than, uh, than the original backpack, which is this one. So this one has 960. This one has 1152 condition. As your skills go up, your crafting becomes better. Durability by 20%. Anyway, that is literally all the perk points that I can get from survival tasks other than... Build the four walls, which I don't want to. It's a waste of timber. So yeah, let me save that and we'll get this. I'm pretty sure it will I'm pretty sure the Jaguar potion will require us to use living water, which I don't want. I don't understand why you have to use living water for these potions. Maybe it would have been better to go for this, but anyway, regardless. I wanted to explore this. And there are more levels that will, that will become available as uh, as the game completes. Although having said that, um, maybe the case that the perk system isn't really um, isn't really conducive to giving you a survival experience. It's great for avoiding some of the survival tasks, like for example dealing with poisoning from insects and snakes. So yeah, it does make it a lot easier to survive. So you could argue that the perks are actually counterproductive in terms of the survival experience. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Time to go. Uh, actually, yeah, let me let me bring all the copper just in case. 
This may turn out to be a a, a foresighted choice. Having brought all our copper, just in case, in a bit of obsidian, we should be good to go, right? And I'm wearing the clothing because otherwise I get sunburned. And here we are. Okay, so I'm protected from the heat. It is quite late in the afternoon, so it doesn't really matter that much. So I was about to break. One couple more hits, maybe. But I've got a bowstring to repair it with. Okay, let's see. What's available? Oh, we did the Copper Island, didn't we? We did the entire place, didn't we? So you know what? We can just explore some of the other islands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, because I wanted to go back for the for the for the pickaxe, right? Oh, 133, I hit the rocks. Fuck. 77, Jesus. The fuck? a lot of damage there. There are some smaller islands here and there. You know, as I understand it, there are some water resources underwater as well. Around those big rocks that you see. But yes, that's that's one island, and that's the other island up there. And there is a central island somewhere. But I think this is the Windy Island, which is where our leather gear will, will actually come in really handy. Actually, yeah, yeah. so if in, the, in the middle of the screen you can see something sticking out. That is not a rock. That is a temple. There is a uh, there is an item of interest in there. I think it's a recipe. The windy island. Right. Yeah, there's not much to be found. There's really not much to be found here. But it's very windy. So yeah, you gotta come in with some wind protection, otherwise, or alternatively, yeah, otherwise you're not gonna heal, right? Alternatively, if you have the perks like I do for better sleep, you can still heal even if you're uh, even if you're under wind chill. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to recover health in this island. Uh, there is a beach here. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly important here. But it looks like the Spaniards landed here. Um, I think you're okay for heat over here. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're okay for heat. Mm -hmm, the crabs. Yes. So there's a couple of living, well, potions and living water. But it would be nice to map the place first. Okay, anyway. In any, in any case, this is an area that we do want to explore. There is a small path going up here. Uh, there are snakes, of course. But yes, this leads up to there. Oh, we could grab some crabs. Yeah, with chill status. That's fine. We do have plenty of energy, so yeah. Like I said, because of that perk that I have for uh, for resting, we should be okay. Even if we take damage. Yes. Okay, let's get let's grab this. Drive the crabs forward into the into the nettles. Are you coming? So yeah, I guess I could have skipped making the leather clothing. There are a couple of places to map from. So yeah, if you get up here, you want to get uh, you, you want to get up around there, right, where that tower is. It's a really good mapping site. So in this island, there are jackals, harpies, and uh, that's pretty much it. Crabs, crabs, of course. There's not much to be found. There is a potion and there is a jackal over there. At least it should be. But yeah, like I said before, if you don't, if you don't have the perk and you don't have leather clothing, healing is the biggest challenge. Are you coming? No, he's not. Okay. Snake, okay. Oh, so you do have to... Yeah, you do have to cut the needles away. Yeah, a couple of skeletons as you, as you do. Probably sacrifices. In water. Yeah, probably sacrifices to, yeah, whatever god they worshipped. Okay. 
Definitely not worth building in this island. Not worth your trouble. This is an island that you come to just to explore and then get the heck out. <laughs> it's de definitely not conducive to, uh, to, uh, to a long stay. But anyway, let me explore around. Yeah, there should be a jackal around there. Not sure what they feed on, but video game logic, eh? Video game actually, what is this? Aloe? Yeah, I've got aloe already. I'm okay. Let's need one aloe. Uh, are the sticks and leaves reappearing? Because I'm picking them up and I think they're coming back. In any case, let's go explore this little... Ah, that's that's an obsidian miner there. That's an obsidian miner. Let's see. It's a snake. Okay. Bad puppy. Don't whine at me. <laughs> it was your fault. Yeah, chance of injury. Mm. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it closer to the mine. So yeah, obsidian mines. One free obsidian, but there's obsidian deposits here. There might be a couple of things up there as well. Maybe not. Oh, really? Full damage? From that? <laughs> this game. This game. It's like the long dark. Everybody has ankles made of uh, made of glass. Oh, living water. Probably a potion though. Probably just a potion instead of actual living water. Wait, how did I not get that? Oh, of course, it's up here. Sneaky bugger. Yes. Easily missed, eh? Easily missed. The Jaguar potion. Okay, that's good. Right, it's getting quite late. Uh, let's take that. Let's take the the let's take the jackal corpse back to the ship. Reason being that we're not really going to stay here long term, so we want to move the location of our ship as well. Or okay, let me explore this side. Uh huh. And there is something there. Okay, there's a dog. Second jackal. Okay, he's coming. That's him. Oh, fuck. Oh, the bug. Oh, shit. Block and hit. <laughs> In your. Oh, he's spawned out of the world. What? No. Give him back my jackal. You bastard. I want my jackal back. Was me jackal? Yeah, let's go and see if we can we can heal. But it's a bit of a run, isn't it? Here, it's a bit of a run. Oh shit! Fuck. Uh, okay, fine. Never mind. You know what? Let's get the jackal. We'll shift the location of the ship. And also, my bow broke. Hmm. Oh well. There were a couple of tendons on that thing. I saw that. I saw it. There were tendons. Yeah, tendons. Tendons are precious. Okay, this beach is a bit uh, enclosed. There's only one path out of it. Anyway. Okay, let's see if we can uh, if we can heal. Let's test that out. Yes, because of my perk, I can heal despite being uh, wind chilled. Working as intended. Too early? Yeah, I could use. Wait, I didn't heal. Oh, I'm thirsty. What the? Wait, what? Not? I should have healed. I should have healed a lot more. Right, I've got. Yeah, all the meters should be good. So according to this, I should have healed. Why didn't I? Anyway, hmm, that, that was weird. Right, I want the tendons, the bones. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab everything. Why not? It would be a shame to waste all of that, right? 
Oh shit, what the? What? Oh, okay, fine. I guess you can't cancel. Gotta, you can't cancel that animation halfway, otherwise you get sued. Oh well. Mm, let's move the ship now. There's a fishing dock somewhere around. Just on this side of the island. It's a lot more convenient. Mm, that beach. Oh, here's, here's the dock. Mm, it's a bit difficult to maneuver sometimes with this. Ah, 24 damage for shit. God damn. Oh, Alright, fine. Fine. Yeah, so the boxes are a little bit inaccessible now. In any case, this is a nice fishing spot. There are a couple of crabs, a couple of uh, coconuts as well. Yeah, there's not much to be found. Ah, yes, a tor tortoise. Time to be evil. Sorry. Okay, please give me a shell. Hopefully, I didn't, I didn't break your shell or something. Ah, oh, fuck. What a waste. Oh, look at those hands. The hands of a murderer. <laughs> ah yes, that's right. They've been uh, they've been tainted with innocent tortoise blood. Truly, I am evil. Lol. Seems to be a bit of a theme. I keep killing the tortoises. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, they're very useful. Well, when they give you a shell, that is. Right, sun exposure. I don't think you get heat in this island, but I think you do get sun. Yeah, you definitely get sun. You don't get heat though. You get wind. And here is the ruins of the civilization that used to reign on this island. Uh-huh. Let's get nice and high. I think this is good enough. I've explored here, right? Yes, I think we did cover this area. That's where the obsidian mine should be. Is that it? I think that's it, yeah. Anyway. Let's see. Um, maybe this area? Yeah, no, not much point uh, mapping the sea, right? Mm, yeah, let's do it from here. I think they should cover pretty much the entire front entrance. Really? Can't jump? Yes, we can! 20 minutes. Okay, that's good. This may have been just right. Because the circle's about this big, right? Yeah, just right. Cover a bit of sea. That's fine. Here's a bit of aloe. Yep. Lots of sights. And we killed that guy, yeah. So that's what we saw just then. That area over there. Over there. Lots of sticks, I have to say. Oh. <sighs> Oh, sunburn. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Oops. Oh, you do get heat as well. Okay, fine. Let's wear this shit then. Right, uh... Why is that? Wind chill. Oh, because of wind chill. Okay. Yeah. So the permanent wind chill does cause you a problem in, in the sense that if you have any condition, you don't get the well-fed bonus for recovering from uh, illnesses. Hmm. That is a penalty. That is a problem, okay. Do I have... I should have something for the sunburn, right? Uh, that's a burn. No, I don't have anything for sunburn, okay. Hmm. Alright, I'll tell you what. I made uh, I made all that leather clothing for, for a reason. I don't have a matching whip, <laughs> but it'll, it'll be a nice leather outfit. Okay, and I'll also, I'll also bring the, the, the pickaxe. Save myself a bit of a trip. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Perfect, and the wind chill is starting to disappear. Once it's gone, we'll be able to heal the sunburn naturally, so that's good. Okay, so let me focus on mapping first. We know what the we know roughly what the what the what the radio is this now. So we should be quite effective. Yeah, and apparently the Spaniards install some kind of a well, a couple of windmills. 
Not sure what for. I don't think we ever learn why. Possibly to grind grain or something like that? Who knows? Mm. Yeah, let's get on the rocks. You kind of worry about that. He may decide to come for us. Okay, he was coming for us. Okay, he couldn't get to us. What the? Uh, I think he was going for us. There you go. How do you like that? Hey? How do you like that? You didn't enjoy the stabby stab, did you? Okay, I would like to get up here just because it's higher. Nice. Um, I don't think we can get it any higher. I have tried. But I think it was a bit of a fool's errand. Yeah, can't go there. I tried. And if you go, if, if you drop down into this little plateau, you're not getting back up. Uh, okay, maybe I can jump across. Okay, here goes nothing. Nope. Oh, fuck. Nope. Hmm, so I think this might be about as high as we can get. We might be starting a little bit of here. So let's go a little bit backwards. Again, a bit of height, and it is it is a bit too close to the coast for my liking, but yeah, this is one of the highest spots. Perfect. Just missed out on a bit of sea. Perfect. Perfect, and uh, there's nothing else to be found in this area, so yeah. That was perfect. Oh, really? Shit. Fall damage, man. Fall damage. Let's grab the stuff on this side. There should be at least a couple of snakes. Uh, eggs. It's getting a bit late. I'll grab it. Yeah, let me get. Let me just grab everything. We shall avenge. We shall. We shall avenge ourselves on the harpy by eating its children. That sounds kind of morbid, doesn't it? Kind of morbid. And yes, human construction. I don't really want to drop down. Okay, watch out for a snake. Oh, don't push me towards a snake. Oh, heavy. Um. Let me kill the jackal. We'll check it. Yeah, this is... That's a special object that we're going towards. So I'm going to explore the, the rest of the island. So let's get the jackal. We'll hit this location, then we'll probably head back and... Or possibly drop a few things. Yeah, that hut is useful. This is, yes, this is what we're looking towards, right? Right over there. That is where... Where our goal lies. Where's the jackal? Oh! That was a good That was a surprise. Oh, fuck. Oh, really? Oh, what? what the hell's happened there? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Oh, low health. Oh, that was that was pretty ugly. That was pretty damn ugly there. Fifty-seven.
Where, wherever could our Spanish explorers have gone off to? Could it be their blood? No. Even the thickest, uh, even the thickest uh, castaway would uh, would know where to go, right? But yes, that is literally where we're going. But not yet. There's loot to be had. It's basically the end of the the early access content, by the way. So yeah, the other island is not somewhere we have to go to. Mm -hmm. And here is a tent. So yes, if you need protection from the heat, yeah. What is this? Can I not get in there? Oh, okay, you can rest. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, no, it doesn't give you protection from the heat, does it? Mm, okay. But it is a nice place to sleep. It also respawn if you happen to die. So, yeah. Okay, there, there's, uh, there's a mill as well. Aha! Provisions. Mm hmm, a repair kit. Oh, heavy. Yes, there's a few things to be found around here. And I think the ruins contain some useful stuff. Right, let's check it out quickly. Watching out for snakes, of course. Uh huh. Oh yes, don't forget that. Mm, just a little bit of a human sacrifice, lol. As you do. Okay, snake. Ah, oh, heavy. Yeah, let's let's drop all our stuff at the ship first, which is over there. It's getting quite late. Yeah, it's getting quite late, and I really do want to sleep. I think we've killed off all the jackals. There are there may be another one around here. And then tomorrow we'll do a bit more mapping on the southern on on that side of the island, which I think is actually the western side, right? According to the sunset, that's the western side. Aha. Uh -huh. Obsidian. Sneaky bugger. Okay, no need to. Well, I probably don't want to mess with a snake. No reason. There's a big stone. Oh, it's on par right, okay. Uh, hopefully the snake can't get me. Sorry, I just trod on your head. You might be dead, but it doesn't mean that we can just tread on your head. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There were a couple of big stones that are left behind as well. Um, does it really matter? Oh, obsidian. I saw some bling bling over there. And I wasn't wrong, was I? And yes, one of the big benefits about the catamaran is that you get log storage. So I could technically chop down all the trees and then bring them back home. And let's see, how many hours? No, we're not healing. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, let's test this out again. Right, so according to this, I should heal. Yes, we did. Okay, good. windchill has gone as well. Someone disappeared. Excellent. We're back to full health now. Well, not, not full hit points, but uh, no illnesses. Actually, I should be able to eat this. Yeah, that will heal me another 20 hit points, I think. Yeah, so water is kind of scarce, I have to say. Water is kind of scarce. So it looks like whatever construction the Spaniards did didn't last very long. Probably a bit too windy, eh? 
There's a book. Book of crafts. Ah, oh, drawing, yes. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what effect it is, but... Yeah, so back to the tent. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, somebody bled. Like a pig. Okay, so I'm going to explore the entirety of the exterior before we actually go inside. Right here. Mm hmm, bit of bleeding as well. Just a bit of bleeding. Right here. Just inside, I think. Yes! You sneaky bugger. You sneaky bugger. What are the chances you find that without uh, concentration one, right? Okay, so there's one more, one more thing to find. Um, I need to map as well. Yes, I think if you can get up to that platform over there, it should give you a lot of visibility. Right up there. Um, oh wait, is the corpse back? Oh, it could be. Yes, it is. Okay, luckily, luckily came back. All right, so we want to get up there. Uh, I think we can climb up here. May have to go all the way around. But it is possible to get up to that platform. I know it, because that's literally where I'm mapped from. No, actually, no. This is. Oh, I can't climb. Okay. Maybe I couldn't. Maybe it was a different way that I used. But can't jump up there, can I? Yeah, it's clearly not possible. I think this side is basically... yeah. I'm not going to try because I have to swim around. So, yeah. What a waste of time. Right. So it has to be somewhere in here. Or maybe just come around and go up from here. LOL. <laughs> okay. Fine. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Just do that, eh? And you can uh, sprint jump. Okay. I don't think you can get up there. It's not really worth it. Yeah. So we do lose a uh, we do lose a little bit of our uh, territory, but that's fine. Yeah. That's basically it. There is something beyond a particular coconut tree. That's inside the mountain. And yeah, other than this little bit of beach, we're fine. That is the entirety of the island. This side is kind of irrelevant. All the mapping is done. I mean, I got two, right? Or did I just use them all up? Yes, I used them all up. Okay, so we need to make some more ink. So let me go through here. There's a particular tree you need to chop down. Lots of snakes. Ah, snow. Excellent. So needed that. Uh, is that clay? No. Just goes up there. Okay. I don't believe there's anything important up there. No, that's fine. Um, may have to kill the snake. May have to kill the snake. Uh. Or maybe not. Okay, lucky. There's a tiny little spot that it's not covering. Yeah, right there. You gotta go, you gotta chop down that particular tree. Aha! Uh -huh. That's probably pirate? Copper. Nice. That's making me heavy. Okay. Fifty-three. We should be okay. Ah, uh, big stone behind that. Not really worth getting. Yeah, it's just a stone. Okay, but there's no way to sneak around this. 
I tried to get around it by dropping down from above, but I don't think it's possible, so... Oh well. Uh... And it opens up this little hidden grove. Or at least I don't think there's any way to get back out, right? You can drop down, but uh, getting out without chopping down that tree? Not possible, I don't think. Because this is a bit of an enclosed area. I don't think it joins up to the beach at all. So yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Snake potion. Okay, so other than... So other than the two locations that are basically inside the mountain, we've covered everything. Okay, now can I get on the ship while carrying a log? No, I can't. Fuck. Fuck, don't drop me into the water. Oh yes, excellent. <laughs> excellent. That was a bit uh, cheesy, but it worked. So you know what they say, right? If it's stupid, but it works, then it ain't stupid. Okay, so the only things left on this island are a couple of big stones. Well, aside from the trees, of course. A couple of big stones, and uh, we now have to go into the cave. So going back to the tent, if we follow the blood trail... ...should lead us to the entrance of the temple. It's kind of interesting that this guy was bleeding before he got there, right? Got everything. So he went here. Although, wait. If we went here, then where is the other? So you got blood both coming and leaving. Unless it's two different sets of bloods. Oh no, no. Anyway, the blood trail leads up to here. Where you can see a corpse. And a shiny bling bling. There is no further treasure inside here. Our navigator, Diego Nunez, arrived here to study winds. He was in the middle of his studies when the killer caught up with him. Looks like the first shot only wounded Diego. He tried to escape, but the second bullet killed him. The poor guy didn't even fight back. What kind of monster could do such a thing? Yes, and this is the end of the the early access content so far. The roadmap says that there's going to be some things that get released on July, but you can still explore both this island, and you should definitely explore inside the cave, and there is the other island, which has a lot of collectibles as well. Plus that temple I showed you. So this is the end of the storyline quest, but this is not the end of uh, the exploration. Make sure to pick up this. Right, so basically it's an unbreakable fire starter. It's really, really good. 30% chance of ignition. So it basically works in the same way as the magnifying glass in the long dark. I'm guessing that that's where they got the idea from, right? So it can only be used during the day in clear weather, not in the shade. So you have to uh, you have to start it outside and then bring it back inside, right? But if you look at the... Yeah, this one's actually much, much better. We have a... Um, I think our skills give us about a 30% chance... Yeah, 30% chance to start a fire. So together, so if I use the pyrite starter, that's a 50%, that's an 80% chance, rather. And if I use the mag lens, that'll be a uh, 60%, which is pretty good, but it still takes you a bit of time, right? So, in any case, that's the last findable here. Not the end of the region, though. There's still one more island, and there are still three more interesting sites and two more pieces of native map. Uh, we don't know what they're used for, but we should definitely explore the cave here. May need a torch. Yes, there is one more findable. And this is why I brought my pickaxe. Yeah. You'll need a copper pickaxe to get through to the end of this.
There are a couple of things. There are a couple of things you can find. That's a spear. But not a massive amount. Oh, actually, there's a couple more find. Okay, fine. I guess there are more things in here than I expected. So this guy was probably a native warrior. Yeah, that, it's a stone spear. I mean, you should you should definitely have something better by this stage, but still useful, right? Still useful. Wouldn't say no to a free stone spear, I'll tell you that much. Right, and there's the symbol of the Buffalo Island. Right, there's something up there. Did they change this? I recall that there was an obstacle that you needed a copper... A copper pickaxe for. Got me crazy. Oh, right. Uh, can I move? Yes. Hmm, I don't recall seeing the book. Okay. Trees is on their science of weapons. Get a big long point and stab people with it. But yes, this one unlocks throwing. Oh, we need. Oh, okay. This was not here. These things were not here. This must have become kind of, this must have become available in the the very latest patch. Jackal? What? Is there a jackal in here? Oh hello. Oh, I think he's bleeding. Okay. So I think the arrows are causing bleed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this was not available before. Anyway, there'll be a note here. Unknown conquistador note. Let me uh, take care of the wolves or uh, the jackals first. Not exactly a time to read, is it? It may have died, yeah. So that's one corpse over there. The other one may be beyond my vision. And yes. The Tree of Life, I'm guessing. That would be the Tree of Life. I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the Aztecs or Mayans Mayans believed in. Oh hello. Stone door key. Oh no. This was not available. This area was not available. Okay, so that thing's dead. The other one is nowhere to be found. Oh here, okay. That's all my arrows back. Coral powder, okay, that's healing. Mmm. It's kinda there is a... yeah, we can use this as uh, lighting. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's read the note now. I could sleep in here, but I should be okay. Okay, let's read the note. 
Unknown Conquistador Note. It looks like I finally figured out the mystery of this cave. Judging by the rock paintings, the, the natives worshipped a unique tree found deep in this mine. The tree grew in the middle of poisonous fumes and people were only able to breathe when standing under its crown. Having named the tree a miracle, the natives began to build a temple around it. They found a way to dispose of their poisonous fumes by constructing sewage pipes. The temple became the main sanctuary of the natives for many centuries. However, at one point an earthquake had apparently partially destroyed the temple and broken the pipes. Everyone inside the temple was dying from poisonous fumes. The tree also withered after that. The cave and the island with it began to be considered cursed and the natives abandoned it. I was not exposed to these fumes for very long, so I think I'll be fine. I will continue my research after a short break. There might be some valuable findings in this cave. Uh, it was a very long break, buddy. It was an extremely long break. But obviously it was a very restful one. Lol. <laughs> anyway. There's two findings. Can't go... Yeah. This. Okay. So I think that I think that note is warning us that we need to get this protection against sulfur gas, which I can make, but I'd have to go back home, which is a bit of a shame. I was expecting to need the pickaxe because that was what was needed before, but I've never actually been here. Can I see? Oh, that's a. There's no return from there. Okay, um, the game's clearly warned us that we need uh, we need a sulfur sulfur mask or something along those lines. Wait, what is this? Right, crawl. Fresh soup recipe. What does that do? A oh, fish soup. 52 food and 40 water. Yeah, so I'm not going down for those because uh, that path has no return apparently. I am not going to risk dying of uh, sulfur poisoning. The game is clearly warning us about that. Let's get away from shoreline. Okay, now we're safe from the wind. Anyway, there is another temple over there, right? I pointed this out as we were, as we were approaching the, wind, the island of wind. Oh shit. Rock. And there is this island as well. Yeah. Okay, what did I just unlock? The red island. Yes. There's another island here and there's another island over here. Okay, do I need a workbench for the mask? Yeah, we definitely have to go back home, don't we? Oh well. And I should also be able to make this as well, so yeah. Let's explore this temple over here. There is one bit of loot, as you can see. Not much else, but I think it's... I think it basically was used as a... Uh, as a lighthouse. So anyway, let's go inside. Looks like there was nothing else outside, so yeah. Right, nicely ruined. I've grown with whatever green stuff is this is. Probably moss. Okay. Yep, Tego skin flask recipe. Right, then allows you to make that. So we have to make some Tego leather, which means that we have to upgrade our, uh, our tanning workbench, and then we can make this. But it requires a fire pot, so it is pretty good. It carries 40 units of uh, liquid, but I mean, I can make three of these guys pretty easily, so... Why would I do that? Right? I mean, it does carry the most liquid, but... Maybe it weighs a lot less. I'll have to test this out. Anyway, so we can not light this, but... I can't see a reason why. 16 days, yeah. I mean, you could use it for navigation, but... Why? As far as I understand, there's no... There's no purpose to this, but... 